Prince Rupert Special Events is holding its annual Seafest celebration this weekend. Usually, it involves games, live music, food vendors, gatherings in parks, and most notably, a parade down 3rd Street. But once again, it's going to look quite different because of the pandemic. This year, of course, we can't have a parade or anything that causes large gatherings. So we are having what we call more family-oriented or family bubble events. Last year, the society held an online parade. But this time around, they want people to get outside. And this year's theme is Here Comes the Sun. The event is split into five different parts that have all been approved by Northern Health. For example, there's a hiking trail bingo challenge, where participants need to find certain spots around town and on hiking trails, and either take a selfie at them or scan a QR code. There's also a selfie scavenger hunt, where people can follow a set of clues on the event's Facebook page to find hidden hashtags around town and take a selfie at them. For the interior designer and all of us, there's a decorating contest for people's homes, businesses, and vehicles. There's also a chance to win prizes in all three of these events. Seniors were able to pick up tea cheer boxes at the Leicester Art Centre today, and if you order takeout at any restaurant or food truck in town, you can drop off the receipt at the Port Interpretive Centre to be entered into a raffle draw to win a $75 gift card to that restaurant. The exciting thing is just getting out there and enjoying and being able to see people, but again, following the COVID-19 restrictions, you know, no big, no large gatherings, just smaller groups. Ultimately, Kilberry says the event's new format has gotten a positive reception. I know it's not going to replace what Seafest traditionally was like, but it was an it was an attempt upon the board to actually try and bring Seafest. I know people missed it last year. We tried to do a, a video of what the parade would have looked like. It just didn't quite work out, so we had to go with a different angle this year, and that's where we came up with the family events. Nonetheless, she hopes that next year's Seafest will be a return to normal. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Joshua Azizi.